Hey, hey, hey. So I'm not a person to go live, but I see that the videos are grainy or not as clear as they are on this end when I post them to Facebook. So um, live is what I need to do. So we're doing print and cut. Well, when I had a few customers order the Juneteenth earrings at the last minute so I went on to cut them for the um, th this this is for one pair it's gonna be on the front and the back so that is for the image and then I also have black cardstock cut for the layers and all that we do is you can see me I have my my podge have it in a container and all I do is dip my finger in and rub it around I get a good coating on it baby white and then I start layering I think I have let's see I have four layers for each earring. So I use my um, Cricut. I have Cricut to cut these out. I did the design myself. And I used Cricut to cut them out. And this is all I do for these. and I'll go ahead and add this because I usually keep it separate I should have put the um, one of the images on but I'll keep it separate I'll just add the image to to one piece since there were four I would have put two together and then put an image on one and then put the other two together and put the other image on the other for the back I do that so I can spray both of them at one time. Put my Podge on this side and the back side and put my Podge here and then let them dry all at one time. And then I would spray these with clear coat. And then after they dry, then I would take and glue the two sides together. That way you don't have to apply the my Podge and clear coat to one side first and then wait for that to dry and then do the other side you can do both sides at one time i hope you guys can see this this is a little dark in here and i got this my phone on a stand i'll leave this video up I take the, the wipe and just push down on it just to get that a good stick oh, I stuck them all together did no no I got I gotta leave I did leave one for this one I was in camera view. If not, this is what I was doing, just putting the Mod Podge on the black layer. I can't really see it because the stand is in my way. So I hope you're seeing this. If not, I'll do more. This was just a quick one since I had this cut. Try to line it up as best as possible see now both sides front and the back for one earring are done now I'm going to do the other earring that way I can mod podge the top and when I say mod podge I just take sometimes I do it with my finger and sometimes I do it with the brush you can do it either way just 
totally up to you. It's just with the brush, my podge. If you're gonna um, epoxy, if you want to epoxy, you can. If you don't want epoxy, you don't have to. You could just Mod Podge and use um, Rust-Oleum Clear Coat. I have that, hold on. Let me show you what I use. After the Mod Podge is fully dry, I spray this. Like I said, if you want to seal it, you can do that as well. But I just put a good coat on there and then just leave it to dry. But if you're going to um, seal with a pot, so you might want to just go around the edge a little bit because it seals the paper. Paper, it will absorb the epoxy. If, once this is put together, it would, these edges, they're cut. So it's open, it's raw. So it will absorb the epoxy, and if you've used a, um, epoxy or resin, either one, they're, it's the same thing. But, well, it's different, but it's kind of the same. <laughs> but either way, if you use either one of them and you don't have your edges sealed with epoxy or whatever, that paper would uh, will absorb it and you'll get spots. So if you've ever done projects and you're like, why is it spotting? That's why you didn't have your paper sealed. So I'm doing this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it on there. It's basically what you're doing. And this is, I'm gonna do two on this one. This is the other earring. And this is my black cardstock layers. Um, I use um, Recollections. I don't have, I, I just ran out. So this is a new one I'm using this parking lane. It's all right, but I like Recollections. Recollections or Recollections, however they say it. I like that one better. And I get that at Michael's and it's, I think I got it on sale for like $10 a pack and I think it was a, a hundred pack. If you don't get it quite lined up if you if you leave it if you push it over a little bit while it's still wet it'll move in place it doesn't have to be perfect but get it lined up as much as possible this, this jar is about out we don't waste no stuff around here though I will be doing um, a tutorial to show you how to make quick little designs. And if you buy PNGs and SVGs and you make shirts or cups or whatever, turn them things into earrings. Don't just use them for that stuff. Turn them into earrings. I'll be doing tutorials to show you how to do that stuff. But those things are multiple. You have multiple uses for with those. So don't just let them. I just think, oh, I just... It's a t-shirt, PNG, or SVG. Use them thing. You done pay a few little dollars. I won't say good money. Some of them are, you do pay a lot. But 
Get your money's worth. Get more than your money's worth. Okay, that's one side. And now I'll do the last side. Come on out of here. Let me get some more montage out. That's why I say don't worry about being messy with the Mod Podge. I mean, it's, it's helping. You might think it's messy or it's making a mess, but it's helping. You cannot hurt this stuff with that Mod Podge. It seals it in there. And especially for these, since I'm not doing um, epoxy, the more layers you use, the thicker this will be and the sturdier it will be. You really don't need to seal it. with This is paper. You really don't need to seal anything with, but the Mod Podge. As long as you put a disclaimer in your packages when you send them out to your customers and let them know you know water is not your friend don't, don't submerge these in water and just tell them to take care of it that's all just don't take a shower with it on i mean but who does but you, some people you have to tell them don't get in the pool don't leave them in the rain and if you just you can seal this with just my pod you don't have to use the clear sealer, but um, if you just seal it with Mod Podge, if it's hot, a little humid, a little rainy and wet, these the Mod Podge will retack and these things will stick. You cannot store them on top of each other like that because they will stick. It's paper. You it will stick. You 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 don't have it sealed so. Okay, that's the second earring. We Mod Podge these as well. And they'll, when you put that Mod Podge on there and don't let them dry in layers, they'll curl like that. But you can just flatten them back out with, you can bend them with your hand before you attach it. Or once you attach it to here, it'll straighten back out. Or you can, after it's dry, lay a book on it or however, it'll, it'll get back right for you. Okay, now when I when I finish this, then I'll let that dry, and then I'll come back and show you how I do the um, the spray. Uh oh. And if it's real hot, it won't take that long to dry, but you want to let it. I let my stuff dry until until you don't see any more milk. That's what I call it. Till the white is all cleared up. Or about an hour or maybe two hours, then I know it's perfect. Because it'll the um drier it gets, the harder this will get too. So for your print and cut. That is pretty much all you're going to do for to get started with print and cut. There's a lot of stuff you can do with print and cut. And the good thing about it is you don't have to have to actually go out and buy, buy earrings. You can make them with the paper. Any shape you want. Any design. I'll be showing you some design stuff too, but we'll be using a program, a free program that you can use online called Pixlr. You can find that at pixlr.com. You don't need to, um, they have a login where you can sign up, but you don't have to. I guess that's if you do the paid version. I don't, I'm learning those programs. I don't use them. Like I use Photoshop. But I'm trying to learn that program because I know everybody does not have access to Photoshop. So I want to use a program that anybody could go on and use. So I'll let these dry, guys, and I'll come back and 
show you how I put them together and then put the spray on. Hey guys, so I had to run to Walmart real quick and then I run back and it's about to rain so I brought the stuff outside real quick to spray it to show you that I'm putting this on it. And then I'm going to take it inside to um, dry because I think it's about to rain. But I just do a heavy coat. I did put it on the tape. So once you put a heavy coat on there, it'll pull up. And you don't want it to try to run behind your tape. But that paper will soak it up, but just in case. I want it. just wanted to show you. And then when it dries, it'll be super shiny. And then I'll put them together. Hey, y'all. So we're back. They're dry. And let's finish them up. I already took two off. There's a dog on fly in here. Let's see how clean that back comes out. Putting it on that tape. I just started doing that, by the way. right there and I think I'll do it with my hand I need some more y'all see that fly can't stand a fly okay I said this one is about gone, but we're going to use it until there is no more. Make sure you line your holes up. Just keep pressing until it gets sticky. Again, I like to take a wipe and lay it on the wipe and push it down. That way to get all the excess glue when it comes out the side. If it's damp, it won't hurt it. Even if it was just my podge, it won't hurt it. But I've already sprayed it, remember, with the clear silver, so it's real. You can see that it's real shiny. take my hole even though I cut the holes in it sometimes the glue and stuff gets clogged up in there so I just take the hole puncher and go in there and clean it out like so
especially on this paper, because it will, once it starts tacking up and grabs a hold, it will stick. And if you have to pull it apart for any reason, the reposition or whatever, just know it's going to take a little bit of that or one of the other layers with it. It will take it. It will take a layer off. Push down, I like to push down. I'll try to squeeze out any excess glue and it helps it stick faster too, I think. Sorry for the camera shake, it is up on the um, stand. The phone is up on the stand. Okay. Now we attach our findings. I'm putting hooks on these in silver. So I take my flat pliers and I get a jump ring. I think I get this size. Get two of these and I get the smaller ones. The smaller ones add, they allow it to be able to turn freely, if you understand. Because if, I'll show you. Did I clean the other one? Oh, it didn't need. If I attach this jump ring, and then attach the hook just to that one without putting a, a smaller one on there. Then it it limits it. You see, when you put this in your ear, it'll stay sideways like that. It it, it won't give it much give. It's not much give in it, I guess you would say. So what I like to do is add a smaller jump ring, close that up, and then attach the hook to the smaller jump ring. Now, let's say you had glitter on the back of this. You want the jump ring, I mean, you want the hook, when you hook it, you want it to face the back of the earring. That way it'll hang properly because if you put the hook toward the front and it had this on there, then it would show the glitter side when you hung it in your ear. So keep that in mind. Okay, that's one. Two. And that is all to the circle print then cut. That is all for the construction of the circle print then cut earring. I hope that was easy and I hope that helps somebody. These will ship tomorrow. They're finished. I could put more. I could put another spray, a coat of... Um, lacquer on the clear spray if I wanted but I think I'll leave them as is all right